Happy birthday, baby! Yeah. Yeah. You wanna open some, baby? Unboxing. Happy birthday, baby. You wanna put it together? And then you can help us all. Actually, we need to put we need to put this together. <laughs> and then voila. You're doing beautiful, baby. I'm letting mother and child be great right now, and as as they're doing that, I'm reveling in what it means to be a dad, what it means to be a father, what it means to be a black father in America, a Nigerian in this time. Ages five to 12. I haven't done one of these in, Oy! it doesn't even fit, it doesn't even like fit my bum breath. My kid is two, I'm 32, one. how old am I? 31. Hmm? 32 in December. Shady Rose, the swing is free. The, not the swing, the, the slide is free. Let's go. Right, so truth of the matter is no one can prepare you for <laughs> when your child comes into this world. And no one can prepare you for what it means to be a dad. No one can prepare you for the ups and downs of having a child. You know, things that no one tells you. The fact your child's gonna get on your nerves, the fact that your child's gonna disobey. How can you get better? How can you grow? How can you elevate? One of the things you realize, what is it that you realize? What do you realize? <laughs> Daddy, I'm sliding off! Oh, yeah. I'm sliding. I think this is why I named my album Augustine's legacy because of um let me make sure this mic ch -ch 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 -ch. yo mic check one two yeah so I think this is why this is one of the reasons why I named my album Augustine's legacy because of days like yesterday this is a brand new day try to get some recording done yesterday but the kids weren't letting me be free and they letting me a lot of freedom. You know, dad can't really move and be free when the kids are about. Um, but being a father is probably one of the biggest blessings that I have in life. My daughter brings me tons of joy. <laughs> the other day I asked Shadow Rose, what do you want to be? What do you want to be when you grow up? But she told me no. She just told me no. Um, and, I, and I'm happy about that because she's not meant to be thinking about what she's meant to be when she grows up. I think that a part of that is from me, my Nigerian background, and like, you know, you must do education, you must stay in school, do your studies. I think right now my kid's just enjoying life, man, and I want to enjoy life with her. I want, like, I'm happy that she is where she's at, you know, I'm happy that she's in our lives and, you know, I think the biggest thing for me right now is wanting to travel with her, but not being able to. She's kind of getting to that age where she's learning. She's, you know what I'm saying? Like she's becoming that kind of kid. Um, and if you, you're kind of, if you're not new here, you know anything about my story. Now, you know, my dad died when I was young and, and when I was a teenager. So like a lot of like, stuff that I've had to learn about what it's like to be a father, just kind of come on the fly. And what I've seen, you know, here and there, what I've seen happen here and there, but overall it's kind of like on the fly. I'm just kind of in a, in a, in a weird space where like every day my child gets older, every year she grows, I get sadder, I get happy. Cause I'm like, man, she's growing, she's growing. But I get sad because I, man, she's growing, she's growing. One day she's gonna not need you anymore. One day she's gonna stop asking for you to carry her. Like it used to really annoy me when she would ask me to carry her. Then I realized that, right, like one day she's not gonna ask you to carry her anymore. And so, you know what I did? 
I started carrying her every time she asked. Um, just because I want to, yeah, I want to be able to, to, to hold my kid. And I don't, I don't know how long that feeling is going to last. I don't know how long that opportunity is going to be there for. And so I want to be able to hold my kid. I've been thinking about that, like, you know, got the, got her this thing, her this micro deluxe scooter thing. And started thinking to myself, I didn't have scooter when I was growing up. Man, nobody bought me scooter. But it's good, like, my kid's meant to have more than I had. You know what I'm saying? She's meant to have more than I had, and I'm, it's a blessing to be able to do that. And so, it's just good to see your kid grow up, man. It's just good to see them happy. You know, I think, I think we can learn. Yeah, I think we can learn from children. And if one thing that my child has taught me is that, like, this is what Jesus is calling about. This is what God is asking for when he's saying have childlike faith. And there's no other way you can see that in real time except when you interact with a child every single day. Start to realize their dependency on you. Start to realize their, man, how do I make my child sound wonderful without making her not sound wonderful at the same time? Um, there's some somewhat rebelliousness, somewhat independence. Like no, it's I can do it. Oh, there's some in there. Okay, hold on. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Um, not knowing that you need daddy, you need me, and then when you realize it, daddy, help, please, please. That's what we do with God. That's what we literally what we do with Him. Um, and so when He calls us to have childlike faith. This is what he's talking about. And so as I look at my daughter, I look at Shade Rose, I see what Jesus is calling me to do with him, which is insane. The other day while we were at the park, these little kids were asking me to push him on this little thing. Couldn't say no. Yeah, I'm, th I'm 32. I'm 32. I'm old. That's that's someone. That's your phone. 